Okay. All right. Well, good evening. Good evening. Uh, uh, my name is Sean Henderson, and I want to welcome you all to the uh, Raleigh High School's virtual showcase. And so we're so excited to have this opportunity to welcome you all to uh, just an opportunity to just to highlight what Raleigh High School has to offer. Um, it's such an amazing time um, uh, for us to be able to present our schools. Uh, and again, I just want to say uh, good evening. Uh, and my name is Sean Henderson. I serve as the very proud principal of Raleigh High School. Um, I'm a 1998 graduate of Raleigh High School, and I'm in my fourth year of serving at a fine institution of learning and with some amazing scholars. Um, some of our students that we serve is just amazing. Um, I've been blessed to have an opportunity to serve um, these wonderful students and to work with a, a, a great group of staff members. Um, and again, I just want to say welcome. Um, I would also like to begin tonight just by saying Happy Veterans Day um, to all the men and the women across the country that have served and that are currently serving in our United States uh, and one of our branches. My son right now is serving in the United States Navy, um, so this is very important to me that we definitely honor our vets. And as we continue to honor our vets, I want to make sure that I honor and highlight some of our vets that are at Raleigh High School right now. And not only did they serve and, and make a commitment to their country, but right now in the present, they're serving and making a commitment to the students that we serve across our country. Uh, across Ed Riley High School, I should say. And so I would like to give a shout out to Colonel Jay Walker, uh, Madison Sergeant Jeff Vanderkui, uh, George Loxton, Glenn Carpenter, Terry Tonkel, and Mr. Lucas Packer. Again, thank you guys for your service. Thank you for serving our country. And also thank you for the commitment that you're making at, to this very day to serve our students at Riley High School. Um, as we are into this, please feel free to ask questions throughout this. We definitely want this to be an opportunity where we can interact and engage and, and be able to answer some of the questions that you may have about Raleigh High School. Um, I would also like just to talk about, you know, the pride, the, trend, the uh, 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 tradition, the community, and now I just want to kind of welcome you to be a part of the South Side. Um, we just have a phenomenal building with generation upon generation of learning. Um, and when I say that, I'm talking about the families that are part of Raleigh High School, right? And so that's one of the main things that we push and that we highlight is how we are as a community and how we are as a family. And so I say generation to generation because, again, I'm a 1998 graduate of Raleigh High School. And right now, my son is a freshman at Raleigh High School. And not only is my son a freshman at Raleigh High School, many of our staff members are graduates of Raleigh High School. And we currently have 21 staff members in our building who have children that have been a part of Raleigh High School that are currently in Riley High School. And so that just speaks in a talk volume about uh, uh, what family is to us and what community building is to us at Riley High School. Um, I want to introduce my administrative team. Um, although we can't have everyone present just because we're doing this virtual event, uh, I want to give a shout out to Ms. Shaquita Adams, who serves as our assistant principal, Mr. Jerry Hartman, who's serving also as an assistant principal, Ms. Sharon Richards, who's serving as our uh, director of guidance. Mr. Edward Morang, who is our magnet coordinator, and Mr. C.B. Gavin, who is our uh, director of athletics and dean of students. Also with me tonight, I got two amazing educators. I'm telling you, they are amazing. I have Ms. Kristen Hallbold, who is uh, working in our uh, computer science department of our, of our engineering and computer science program. And then I have uh, Mr. YouTube himself, Seth Ponder who is uh, serving in the engineering program. Uh, he is, he, he does an amazing job. Uh, also a part of some of his colleagues that are not able to be with us tonight is Mr. Brubaker, who is also a, a magnet teacher, and uh, Mr. Terry Tonka, who also served as a magnet teacher. Um, what are some of the things that you can get at Raleigh High School? Well, Raleigh High School has 16 AP classes that we offer at Raleigh High School. Uh, members from a class of 2020, we had two students from uh, the class of 2020 that graduated with their associate's degree um, while graduating from high school. Now that's amazing, right? You should give them a round of applause, sign a round of applause, right? That's awesome. But then you gotta think about for the class of 2021. Right now, Raleigh High School has six students, six that are enrolled uh, in the ASAP program to at the end of this year, they're gonna receive their high school diploma as well as their associate's degree. These students are amazing. And so those are some of the things that are going on at Raleigh High School. What else does Raleigh High School have to offer? Again, within our magnet program, a number of dual classes, dual credit options, where students are earning high school credits as well as college credits. And the thing that made it just an aha moment for me was to, to uh, get a letter home from Ivy Tech showing that my son was enrolled in high school as well as college. 
that was awesome to be able to be on the other side of getting that type of information. Uh, Riley High School offers one of the one of the only schools as a freshman where you can turn in and begin earning dual credits as a freshman in high school. So as a freshman in high school, you begin earning dual credits at the high school at the college level. We also offer uh, dual credit options in our English 12 and also sociology. Um, and again, just at Riley High School, you can earn your technical and academic honors at the same time. And so you walk away with multiple stamps, Core 40 technical honors and academic honors all in one. Uh, we have 18 varsity sports. Um, athletics is a tradition at Riley. Um, from the time that I was there, again, as a, as a graduate of 1998, playing basketball at Riley High School, and still seeing that tradition go on today. Still seeing the student section put, uh, pack out the stands. Still seeing uh, uh, students meeting at the uh, at the end of a football game in the parking lot. And so that's that's just amazing when when you when you have students that continue on with the tradition, and and the tradition is there. Um, again, 18 varsity sports that we offer. And not only do we just offer 18 varsity sports, but we also offer bowling for both boys and girls. Now I'm gonna tell you this: if you've never been to a high school bowling event. And if you're allowed to go to one, and if it's live stream or whatever, that is an amazing, intense event, and I love it. And so those are some of the things that we do. We also have a hockey team that Riley High School students can be a part of. Now, it's not just Riley High School. It is a combination of students from other schools and other districts, but it's so amazing. Uh, they just won state a couple years ago, and I had the opportunity of being a part of that, so that was amazing. Uh, we also have a number of clubs because we want our students to be involved. That's one thing that we always push, is for students to get engaged and be involved. Make this your home. Um, although my name is, is the principal at Riley High School, our students are, it's student-centered. And we have a lot of dialogue and conversations with our students to be the forefront, uh, the, to, to lead and guide and make sure that we're pushing um, all the wonderful things that go on at Riley. So some of the clubs that we have is Quiz Bowl um, and Sisterhood, um, gaming clubs, science Olympia, robotics, all these many different clubs that we have. Um, but again, I, I am here tonight with some wonderful educators who I'm gonna allow to come up and, and, and have an opportunity to speak with you all. Um, but continue to ask questions, continue to put questions out there and we will answer them as they come in. Again, we wanna say thank you for giving us an opportunity to speak to you all and I hope to see you all in the fall. Go rally. Hey there, everybody. Um, hope everybody's having a great Veterans Day. Thanks for tuning in. Um, we've got a couple of links on the side there that are going to be really helpful. Um, we've got a bit.ly backslash Riley info for a website that's full of information about Riley High School. Um, you can get to meet teachers. They've all made great videos, um, coaches, things like that. So. I'm going to kind of jump in. There is a slide on there that I'm going to kind of use as a prompt. But um, Mr. Henderson has mentioned we have a bunch of engineering classes and computer classes, or computer science classes for just all levels and all skills. Um, many of our classes have dual credit through Ivy Tech. And um, I'm going to focus on the engineering side of it. I teach freshman introduction to engineering design. Um, we design all kinds of cool stuff. I brought some, well, okay, so when I'm around kids, these are called toys, but they're really educational learning tools, right? So students design uh, these where you can see circular motion turning into linear motion. We talk about the physics with that. Um, we have things like, like this where students can, we have a laser engraver in my classroom where you can kind of see that. Riley High School logo and, and students designed a little phone stand charging station there. Um, but the, the whole thing about engineering is first we have to identify a problem. And so if I were to um, introduce this to you and say, all right, it's kind of tough to see there. But OK, make a shape that fits in all three of these spots, right? Kind of like a little kid's toy, but it's got to be one shape. And so students go through the design process that we teach them from freshman year to senior year um, and, and have a, what I think is a hands-on experience, um, everything from paper and pencil and drafting to computers and 3D printers. 
And so then they might design a shape that looks like this. But if you rotate it, we've got triangle there. And if you, if you rotate it again, you've got a square. So it fits through all the different spots. Okay. Um, let's see. In, um, in another project we have where, where again, identify the problem and then we go through and solve it. And this is what my freshmen are working on right now is a puzzle cube project where they um, make it out of wood um, and they have to make five different parts. And there's so many combinations that every kid has a different one. And we just have a great time uh, brainstorming different ideas, but also collaborating, helping each other, and then, um, and then challenging each other. All right. Um, another class we have is principles of engineering. And so that is like an applied physics class where uh, Mr. Brubaker does a great job going over everything from simple machines to then, I'm going to grab another tool here. Thank you so much, Ms. Hobbled. We've got, we use VEX robots um, where we, uh, the students build these, um, put them together. Uh, you can see there's different gears here that go over the machine parts. Um, We've got some motors, and then of course there's a motor. These even come with remote, remote controls, so students can drive them with remote controls, or they can uh, code them, and you know the the robot can can do what it does. Um, when students were designing like a marble sorter years ago, we then all of a sudden like took a field trip and to a blueberry farm, and all of a sudden like this giant machine was sorting blueberries by different colors and size, and all of a sudden a student turned to me and was like, that's our marble sorter. I was like, yes, that's exactly right. Um, then uh, when we start getting into junior and senior year in our engineering pathway, we have different classes like digital electronics, civil engineering and architecture, um, environmental sustainability, and aerospace engineering. Um, this is our first year with aerospace engineering. We're having a ton of fun, everything from paper airplanes to gliders. Um, we even have some flight simulators that the kids are working on. And then we get into things like drones, which we've got a little one that we can fly inside the school um, safely, of course. We go over safety all the time. Um, and then, uh, and then uh, we talk about rockets, satellites, and pretty much everything that can fly. Um, students there um, not only learn about the engineering side of it, but I've got one young man who's there who's also taking the welding CTE class. So our students, as they're going through the computer science and engineering um, magnet program, also have an opportunity to be in uh, CTE classes that you may have heard from some of the other um, Clay and Adams and Washington presentations. And so the one young man who's in my aerospace class and also taking welding um, will have a very very, very good knowledge of welding, and then also a good idea on how struts work and everything in the airplanes, and um, could have a very good and lucrative uh, job lined up for him um, right out of uh, high school and college. And that's kind of our whole thing is, we want students to be prepared for college, military, and uh, career pathways as they leave Riley High School. And we're all always trying to find innovative, and rigorous and relevant projects for our students. So um, not only do we do fun projects that I've kind of shown you and use the tools that I've shown you, but one of the things we also do is we try and do community-based projects. Um, our senior class is called Engineering Design and Development, where students identify a problem early in the fall and go through the entire design process. Um, Something similar to a science fair project, but we have an engineering project, uh, which is the design method or process instead of the scientific method. Um, and then in the springtime, we hold what we call our magnet fair, um, where students um, present to our community, our parents, our families, and have a great time uh, doing it. Um, just a few projects that I wanted to bring up and highlight in our um, freshman design class. Uh, we get the freshmen working with the community as soon as they walk in the door. And our introduction to engineering design class is the only class in the state that offers dual credit to freshmen. Uh, so we're really proud that Riley High School has that and uh, our freshmen 
join the Magna program their freshman year, they're taking classes, and they're earning dual credit. Um, one of the projects we did a few years ago with the University of Notre Dame and um, Mount Carmel Church, which is right around the corner from Riley High School, was um, the students designed a pavilion that is um, now standing outside the church. Um, and the church uses it, the neighborhood uses it, and we're really proud of that. Um, another project that we've been working on is, in our civil engineering class is what we call Project Homecoming, where we're trying to work, we're working with um, the building trades um, classes and um, working on having some houses a little bit closer to Riley High School for the building trades to work on. Um, and 466 Works uh, has put up, I think they're up to six homes um, with, I think, a couple more on the way. And it, that's probably, there's more going on there. Um, in our digital electronics and our environmental sustainability class, we work closely with um, the city and we work closely with uh, the Center for Civic Innovation at Notre Dame um, to try and come up with um, hands-on approaches with Bowman Creek, which flows through the southeast neighborhood and always trying to um, find ways to use technology and innovate while also, you know, um, grow with the city and, and have fun. Um, you know, we, we're, we always advertise South Bend as a smart city, and so we want to be part of that, and um, we want our students to be prepared as they uh, leave Riley, or even while they're at Riley. Um, another project that I was really proud of, of many students, but one in particular was um, one young man years ago um, designed a prosthetic hand for a, um, a first grader um, up the street. She, she was a student at Monroe School, and this young man, out of the goodness of his heart, he didn't even do this for a grade, he designed a prosthetic hand for the young lady um, and 3D printed it at Riley High School. We had a lot of fun doing that. Um, and so if you guys have any questions, please feel free to add them in the comments, um, and we're going to we're going to hand it over to Ms. Hobbled so she can talk about computer science. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for being here. Um, this is a little weird. Normally, I'm standing in front of like 400 eighth graders talking about Riley, but this is cool, too. So like Mr. Potter said, um, Drop your questions, thoughts in the comments. We are all over those. We want to get you the information you need so you can make a good choice about where to go to high school. Um, like Mr. Ponner said, my name is Kristen Hubble. I have been teaching at Riley for eight years, and I teach the computer science side of our pathway. So we have kind of two different branches. Mr. Ponner told you all about the engineering courses. I teach the computer science side. So you might you might not even know like what is computer science, but I think as the, this pandemic has shown us, tech is everywhere, it's not going away, and we have to know how to um, use it well, we have to know how to fix it, we have to know how to program it and make it do what we want to do. So computer science is really the study of what do we do with technology, how do we make it work, how do we design and build something digitally that's going to solve a problem for us. So engineering focuses more on the physical side of things. Computer science focuses on the digital side of problem solving and building things. So Facebook Live was designed by a computer scientist. So you, you can thank them later. Um, in the uh, computer science side of things, we have, let's see, eight different classes right now. Um, freshman year, you'd start out in a class called Introduction to Computer Science. And we do a lot of fun things. We learn kind of the basics of like what is computer science? What goes into it? Um, we get to work with some pretty fun technology. So this is called a micro bit. And this is just designed with a little light sensor. So if I kind of aim it towards the ceiling, you can see it's picking up the level of light. And if I aim it away from the ceiling, that little bar graph is just showing how much light is in there. And I program this in like five minutes. This is the kind of like, we start out with really fun, kind of hands-on coding things that kids will learn to do their first year and they'll learn about building websites and just what goes into computer science. Your uh, sophomore year you could take a class called computer science principles where we learn a program in a language called Python and we do all kinds of drawings and we make some games. We 
talk about data, kind of get a, a more solid foundation of, of coding and how do, we, how do we tell the computer to do what we want it to do. Your junior year, you take a class called Computer Science A, where you learn a second programming language called Java. And Java actually became, recently, it lost its place in the top, um, top two most popular programming languages, but it's still up there. Uh, we learned to program in Java and make Android apps, make all kinds of different programs. Um, there's just, just more of the technical side of how do we make the computer do what we want it to do. And then we get into the really fun stuff. So senior year, you have an option to take a couple of different courses. The most popular one right now is cybersecurity, which you can understand there's a big need for. Um, so we learn all about how do we keep the internet safe? How do we keep our own things safe? Um, how do I keep my computer safe, my phone safe? What do I need to do? What kind of jobs are out there? Um, so students get a very fundamental um, foundational understanding of all the things that go into keeping us safe in this very, very complex digital world that we live in. Um, we also offer courses in like informatics. Um, this is a, a fun little deep learning camera we get to play around with and we look at like things like big data. How do we take tons and tons of information and make decisions based on it? We, we learn to think through things like that and how does this connect to business? Um, how do we make decisions based on information? So those are some of the courses we offer in computer science. Um, we're always expanding as tech is always changing and so we're always trying to keep up making sure we're on the cutting edge of what kids need to know. Um, we have some cool partnerships with, as Mr. Ponder said, with Notre Dame. Um, we have right now there's a group of computer science students at Notre Dame who are helping tutor some of my computer science students online in weekly sessions. Um, but we've, we've had a couple years worth of, of partnership with them and just connecting our students to college students who are studying computer science so they can get a feel for you know what this might look like if they want to study this in the future. Um, I love being at Riley. It is, it's a family. It's an awesome place to be. I love teaching there. Um, I love getting to do fun projects with kids. Um, we, we've gotten to do a lot of really cool partnerships with uh, Notre Dame, with um, like Bendable. So we, you may have seen Bendable recently from the, the library, um, but we partnered with them this last year to help test out some of their curriculum and we had some students pilot it for them. We have all kinds of different connections with um, companies like Dearborn Crane and ADEC that we've done projects for um, every year, hopefully this year. We take field trips with my computer science students to uh, places like Onalytics, which is a, a data analysis company, um, and Focus, go to Trek 10. We've been to South End Code School and Advanti and um, we have partnerships with the South End Chamber of Commerce. Just all kinds of really great connections that we're, we're getting students in high school that they can then you know, continue on with when they leave us from Riley and go get an internship, go get a job. Um, yeah, so Riley's family, we're teaching kids to do awesome things and preparing them for whatever the future looks like. And we don't know what it looks like right now, but we are preparing them for whatever the future is. Um, here's a couple ways you can learn more. So obviously you ask your questions in the comments here. If we don't get to them while we're on the live stream, we will follow up with you. And um, Riley's gonna be hosting three YouTube live town halls in the next couple of weeks. Um, the dates for those are Thursday, Thursday, November 19th, so that's next week, Thursday night, 6 p.m. We're hosting one after Thanksgiving, so Thursday, December 3rd at 6 p.m., and then the third one will be Saturday, December 5th at 10 a.m. So those will be hosted on YouTube. You can sign in, um, just take a watch, add your comments. If you have questions, we can answer them then. And then if you want to get an in-person tour of Riley High School, see it in person, um, we're hosting those on Wednesdays. So because of COVID and the restrictions. Um, we won't be able to do our normal student shadowing like we've done in the past, um, but you could sign up for a tour. Um, the link is in the comments there. So those will happen on Wednesdays at a variety of different times throughout the day to be able to accommodate your schedule. Um, we also have, like Mr. Ponder said, a website. 
that's in the comments bit.ly slash Riley info. You can find more, hear some testimonies from students, um, learn more about our magnet program and Riley in general. And um, our, the magnet application is also linked in the, um, in the comments here. So if you're like, I'm set, now I know what I got to do, go ahead and uh, hit that application button. So if you do we have any, any questions that haven't been answered yet? There's one about like a, a club or group for all girls in engineering. Oh yeah, so forgot to mention that. It's on my notes. Um, so you may you may have expected that um, being that we're the mag like computer science and engineering mag we do tend to attract more boys and we recognize this and our numbers are a little lopsided um, to help combat that we have a a student club specifically for girls and women in our computer science and engineering um, magnet program it's, it's space for them to be together with just other girls and I sponsor that club um, and. It's been a really cool space. We've been we've partnered with Notre Dame for the last five years um, with their let's see the kinetic structures lab. Um, there's been a professor that has been working with us for the last several years to help sponsor that program, and the kids learn all about bridges and take some fun field trips. Um, so yeah, we we work hard to create space for every kid to feel at home and feel like they belong. Um, even if they're in a, in a minority. Um, uh, one question that was just asked, can we earn college credit at Riley? Absolutely. Um, in engineering, there are four dual credit courses. So you could earn a total of 12 dual credits in engineering courses. And there are currently two dual credit in computer science courses. So you could earn a total of six there. Some kids take both pathways. So you could end up with 18 dual credits just from our magnet classes, which that's a lot of dual credit for just being in high school. Yeah, so this year we're having, we have six seniors who are going to graduate with their associate's degree from taking dual credit courses and taking courses with Ivy Tech. So there's a lot of really cool opportunities here. Uh, one question is, what do your students tend to most enjoy out of this class? What do students tend classes? to most enjoy out of these classes? The thing that I hear over and over and over again is kids love the chance to create and get to build something that they have uh, ownership and agency over. Every single one of my, the, the units, every time we're ending a unit of study in a computer science class, there's an open-ended project where kids can take whatever they've learned and create something with it. And it's, it's open-ended, kids can build things, solve problems that are important to them. Um, like Mr. Potter talked about with the senior year engineering class, the whole point of the, of the class is picking a problem that's important to you and finding a solution for it. So. That's the, the most common thing I hear is kids love the agency and the choice they get. Yeah, I, think, I think we've hit quite a few. I'm gonna... All right, I'm going to turn it back over to Mr. Ponder. He has one more thing he wants to talk to you about. Hey, everybody. Um, kind of going back to... Uh... <laughs> Hey there, everybody. Um, going back to uh, what do students enjoy all the time, like so many students when they are seniors or when they're um, even even out of school always come back and say, oh, I still have my Puzzle Cube project or I still have this project from engineering class. Um, and not only do we have fun, hands-on uh, engineering and computer science classes, our other classes um, are amazing. Our, our science department does so many fun things. I've heard especially with all of this e-learning. Um, I've seen some really cool, creative, uh, hands-on chemistry projects being done at home, being done in the classroom. Um, and uh, on our bit.ly, um, you can see, uh, you can join our social media on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. And uh, our teachers love sharing what the students are doing and our parents love sharing what our students are doing. And I think our students do too. Um, and I just want to kind of bring up some Riley spotlights, um, some graduates that have gone on and um, done some engineering um, fields and some that have gone on um, to some uh, some other majors in college and military. Um, and that's what our our program will um, prepare your, your child, prepare your student to be ready for not just engineering, 
but will use the design process and be able to communicate and create um, and uh, critically think uh, for, for just about any job, all right? Um, so one young lady I want to bring up, her name is Sharon Najari. She graduated, I think, five years ago, if I remember right. Um, she went on to Purdue, studied aerospace engineering, and is now um, a NASA engineer. She uh, is working on um, some s s fuel cells for satellites or something, something way over my pay grade. Um, we have um, a couple students that are attending Rose Holman College down in Terre Haute, which is one of the top engineering fields or engineering colleges in the nation. Um, one of those students is playing on the football team. Um, the other student, she is on the swim team. So proof that our students are not only uh, working hard in the classroom, they're also working hard um, in our great traditions that are you know, the swim team, the football team, uh, the basketball team and all and cross country and all of our sports. Um, let's see, we have uh, another young lady who is who wanted to go away for school um, after she graduated, um, but got a great offer to attend St. Mary's and Notre Dame at the same time. She is earning two um, degrees from there and studying environmental engineering um, in both of those fields and has had awesome opportunities and internships. Um, and speaking of internships, that's another uh, reason we really encourage our students um, to come to Riley is we have partnerships with um, places like the Center for Civic Innovation at Notre Dame uh, to get high school students internships with college students. Um, they're paid internships and uh, students come back um, just having a great time. Um, we actually, one of our students this past couple summers ago uh, actually won the intern of the year award um, as a junior in high school beat out all of the other interns high school and college all over the state um, we also have uh, many of our students go on to internships with the city of South Bend um, Department of Transportation and uh, many other um, areas in and around South Bend um, I also want to thank um, the South Bend Chamber, because we just wrapped up Manufacturing Day. They did a great job making it virtual this year, and uh, we really enjoyed doing virtual panels with them, with our students, um, them giving us virtual field trips, uh, and, and uh, just making our students feel very welcomed in all of these uh, companies in and around South Bend. All right, and I think, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, to email us or uh, comment on uh, on this live stream. So thanks for watching. And here comes Mr. Henderson. So again, I just want to say thank you again to uh, Mr. Ponder and Ms. Hobble for definitely coming out and supporting me in this event. Um, you know, You've, you've heard it all. And, and again, we want to give you all the opportunity to come by and just have a private tour of Raleigh High School. We will have our Project Lead the Way ambassadors show you around, some of our student council leaders show you around, uh, because you know we want you to get a true feel of where Raleigh High School is. I'm not up here to sell you a dream. Um, the one thing I do want to let you know is that we're true to our words about being a family and being committed to your student and watching them grow academically, uh, and then just grow and just truly mature throughout their time at Raleigh High School. Um, I'm blessed to have been and uh, to have had the opportunity to be the principal at Raleigh High School. And so I believe Mr. Ponder started off with fixing a problem, right? And so when we talk about fixing a problem, I think about some of the things that our students have done. And so at the end of their four years, they create this project that they must find a way to navigate. And the one project that continues to stand out to me is that one of our students built a prosthetic hand for a young lady um, at, at uh, one of our feeder schools. Um, just the, the the thought process that he put into it, the fact that it was it was bigger than him, right? And so it's all about making it and having the opportunity to grow and to give back to the community. And so one thing I just wanna say is that we wanna welcome you to Raleigh High School. And I'm gonna say that we have some amazing schools in the city of South Bend. I would never ever 
discredit the work that goes on over at Adams High School under an amazing administrator, Jim Seitz. I would never discredit the work that goes on over at Washington High School under an amazing administrator, Tom Sims. I would never discredit the work that's going on at Clay High School under an amazing administrator, Chris Bird. And so what we want to do is keep our students engaged. I am the product of a public school education. I'm a product of a South Bend Community School Corporation kid. So is Ms. Hobble and so is Mr. Ponder. And we want you to have that opportunity to say you are a product of a South Bend school. But I am going to say, choose Riley. <laughs> have a good evening.